Hello, hello. This is Roberto and this is the HVAC is in my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the efficiency of the furnace, pretty much the AFUE, and also we're going to be explaining the different types of configurations for uh, the pipes, the intake and the flue gases. All right, so let's get into it. So to begin with, we're going to start with the name. So AFUE, here you go, AFUE. So this stands for annual fuel utilization utilization ratio. I mean, I mean efficiency. 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 There we go. So this is in order to uh, to obtain the efficiency of the furnace. For example, in on, in this case we have a Goodman furnace, and this is the data that we have for the, for the furnace. So based on the model, you are going to be able to obtain all the data of any manufacturer, and it could be Carrier, it could be Goodman, it could be Lennox. So mainly you need to know what is the model of the furnace. And then based on that, you're going to be able to obtain if it's um, the input and the output, the capacity of the furnace and everything else. But mainly in here, we're going to explain what the calculation is and how this works. All right. So let's put this in pink and see and circle it. So, for example, if this furnace is this model, here we go, and we go to the manufacturer's manual, and we're going to find out that the input and the output are going to be 40,000 BTUs per hour and 38,400 BTUs per hour. So this AFUE actually is going to be the ratio of the following. So AFUE equals output divided by input input so in this case is going to be equal to AFUE so what is the output the output for this in high fire so actually this this furnace is double double stage so there are furnaces that are single stage double stage and modulating uh, that are modulated to so in this case we have a double stage furnace and the reason I, I chose this is to explain better the different uh, ways to calculate the annual the AFUE which means, in other words, the efficiency of the furnace. So let's put this in pink, see? So this higher, f high fire, it's gonna be the second stage. This low fire is gonna be the first stage. So this is a double stage furnace. So in order to calculate the annual fuel utilization efficiency, you're only gonna need this. You're gonna need the uh, input and the output. And of course, you have, the, uh, we're gonna see this. So let's do it for high fire, for high fire. So what's the input? The input is always greater, see? It's higher than the output. So the input is actually 40,000 BTUs per hour. So we're gonna put that in here. So see, 40,000 BTUs per hour. Here we go, 40,000. Let's put a comma just to, so it's better, okay? And that's gonna be divided by, there you go, divided by, so 34, 40,000 BTUs per hour. In other words, it's going to be uh, the output 38,400, 38,400 divided by the input, which is 40,000 uh, BTUs per hour. L let's put the units just in, just, just in here for the sake of adding the units. There you go, BTUs per hour. All right, so what what is the result of that? That's going to be equal to 0.96. And as in other videos, we explained that you can always express this in a decimal, as a decimal, or better yet, you can always express it as a percentage. So the way you express it as a percentage is you just need to multiply by 100, right? So if you multiply, multiply that times 100, you're going to get 96%. So this 96% is going to be the 
AFUE of this furnace. So in other words, the efficiency of this furnace is 96%. All right. So and also you have that number right here. We're doing it with pink, right? So let's do pink in here. There we go. See, the AFUE is going to be 96%. So this means, uh, in other words, that this furnace is going to utilize 96% of the energy because BTUs per hour is energy, right? So let's put that in here in red. So that means that 96% is used, is used. And what is the rest of 96%? The rest is gonna be 4% and this is wasted, wasted, all right? So uh, in order to make it a little bit more uh, to explain it better so I'm gonna use hundred dollars not not one dollar so you can see the impact if I use one dollar sometimes you don't see the impact let's see let's say that you have hundred dollars so you're going to be using with 96 percent 96 dollars will be used used and four dollars is wasted wasted energy all right so there are other types of furnaces that are 80 percent so it, for example for example if you have an afue which is the efficiency of the furnace that is 80 percent because there are 80 percent furnaces those are the standard furnaces so that means that you are using 80 percent is used and 20% is wasted. Let's put in dollars. $80 is used, $20 is wasted for every $100. So in other words, this is going to be way less efficient than a 90%. All right, so there are uh, some other types of furnaces. We can, we can make this distinction. So for the furnaces based on efficiency, furnaces based on efficiency what we're going to have are the following so the basic and the standard one is going to be an 80 percent afue this is basic this is a standard and the advantage of this is the furnace is not going to be that expensive it's very economic it's inexpensive but in the long run it's going to be costing you more so it's better to invest a little bit more money and on this case so then we go to the 90 percent AFUE plus and say that the, we have a 96 percent AFUE all right so those are called high efficiency furnaces high efficiency furnaces efficiency furnaces okay because you're going to be able to save more money more energy in the long run and the only uh, setback of those furnaces are that they they are more expensive all right now that we understand a little bit better on this the afue also we're going to be talking about what is the low fire so, uh, uh, so this is the way we classify furnaces based on the efficiency but also we can classify the furnaces based on the stages so let's put in here this is furnaces based on efficiency classification on efficiency all right so what about if we classify the furnaces based on stages furnaces okay based on stages stages so based on stages you're gonna have the following you're gonna have a single stage single stage okay you're gonna have double stage okay double stage and you're gonna have the modulating modulating okay so you have two types of classifications based on efficiency and that now that we know the AFUE and then the stages single stage double stage and model modulating so in this case this furnace what we have is an AFUE of 96 percent so that would mean that that's high efficiency furnace and also what kind of stages does this have since we have in here high fire and low fire 
pretty much this would be the first stage low fire first stage see first stage it stay it starts in low fire and then if you need more fire it goes kicks in the second stage okay so this is a second double stage second two stage furnace two stage furnace and there are also modulating modulating burners which is a better option in fact okay so whenever you're calculating the AFUE is the output divided by the input output input of BTUs per hour input of capacity output of capacity so we did with the high fire see with the high fire if you do the same thing with the low fire in other words the, how do we know which one is the input? It's in here, input. Or you can always say that the input is always higher than the output. So the input is 2800 divided by, I'm sorry, the output. The AFU is the output too. So let's put that in here very quickly. So that's going to be the output is 2600. See, 2600, 2680 divided by the output, the input, 2800. 2800 all right and that's going to be equal to 96 percent is the same so that's the uh, efficiency of the furnace all right and uh, one uh, last thing so when we're talking about direct vent and non-direct vent what we're going to have is this so that's going to be very quickly right here and then we're going to put that in green see so you have a furnace and you have two pipes this pipe is the flu pipe flu pipe and this is the intake pipe intake pipe okay pvc intake pipe okay so whenever you're having a direct a direct vent that means that you have two pipes these two pipes go outside in other words whenever you have two pipes this would be a direct vent see when they exit outside this is called a direct vent direct vent okay so that's another classification of the furnace so that's why we're going to put it in red in red that's another direct vent furnaces go outside see I start direct vent and the other classification is going to be non-direct vent like this one see like this one I'm sorry about that non direct vent direct vent and then we're gonna put in here a star right here why is it non-direct vent because we only have one single pipe that goes outside the flu pipe goes only once let's put in here one pipe right here so non direct vent like the cloud one pipe all right direct vent let's put a cloud to pipe okay so that's another classification so this intake pipe takes the combustion air from the inner side so when it's a non-direct vent we have the we only have one pipe that goes to outside and then the rest is taken by this pipe for the combustion air all right so whenever we have a no a direct vent both pipes go to outside all right so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe all right in the next video we're going to be talking about more about the calculation on the intake pipe how much air air we need for the intake pipe all right thank you